go. Hey guys, I'm Benny, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to populate your Salesforce data into Google Maps via form type. In the map below, here, you can see two types of pin, uh, yellow and blue. Yellow pins are used for uh, context records, uh, account records are used using uh, the blue pins. Everything that you can see is real data from Salesforce, uh, fetched dynamically from multiple objects. Let me just do refresh so you can see this is a font item form. Okie dokie. Uh, this is the account data from Salesforce. ABC, blah, blah, blah. Let's see how we can interact with the pins. So if I click, let's say on Sportnet uh, New York One, it will show me additional information from Salesforce. As you can see, this is the description. This is the street. Let me just do a quick update so you can see how we can change the location. You can change the description. Okie dokie. Demo map. I'll click update. It will go to Salesforce, update, and here you go. It's moved. Uh, let me show you now how I've built it in the form builder. So let's switch. Okay, so uh, let's continue. This is the form builder. I put a map object. If you don't know how, just search for map, uh, drag it into the canvas. I also created a, a nice tab control. To create a tab control, you just need to use a section. So this is a regular section, enable tabs, create the tabs, uh, drag and drop your fields into the relevant tabs. Let's first uh, see how I just map the uh, data from Salesforce into the map. I'm going to the get. I got two gets, one for account, one for uh, contact. Let's see the mapping. So to map, all you need to do, you can, you can uh, choose to map the address into the map or the gear location like X and Y. I'll show you. Longitude and latitude. Just I, uh, I just use the address now. I also use for the value the account ID, for the tooltip the account name, and for the pin description the account description. Uh, pretty much easy. I did the same for uh, the contact. Now for the map. I'm going to click on the map, click advance, configure pins. Uh, the map is quite smart because uh, it can identify which gets are, are being used in the map. So we can specify for each get a different styling. Okay. And you can also specify which value will return into a specific hidden one once clicked. Like if I click here, for example, we will want to update the account ID. So based on the account ID, we will load the account ID information. Let me show you how. This is the account get, pull specific account information. Let's do, see the condition. So account ID in Salesforce equal to the account ID hidden that was populated in the map. Uh, also did like uh, an update, which is using a custom button, Salesforce action button. This is the trigger. Uh, let me show you. This is the push uh, into account update. Obviously, it's using custom button. Action is update account ID equal to the account ID from the map. And the map fields. Let's see which one I mapped. Okay, just update the address, the name, the website URL. Everything is like here. Uh, pretty easy. If you have any questions, uh, reach out. We will be happy to help. Bye-bye.